OK, so what we've seen in uh, previous examples as we've led up to this point is that some of our estimates can either be overestimates or underestimates. OK, and for the trapezium rule, we can tell whether it's going to be an overestimate or an underestimate uh, based on the curve. Now, if the shape of the curve that we're looking at looks either like this or like this, OK, then we can safely say that the curve is, um, or rather the area that we get, will be an overestimate. Now, the reason for this is if I look at two points on the curve and I draw a chord between them, then clearly the trapezium between those two points will go over the top of the curve, OK? And will overestimate the area underneath. And in a very similar way, I could draw two points on this one and draw a line there. OK, and you can quite clearly see that the trapezium would be an overestimate in both of these cases. OK, now these cases are known as concave up. OK, because uh, the concavity of the, of the shape of, of the curve is pointing in an upwards uh, direction. So that's why we would determine it as concave up. And in both these cases, you get overestimates. If, however, the curve looks like this or like this, OK, you can do a similar little trick. Choose two points, draw a chord between them, and then clearly the trapezium would lie below the curve in both cases. So let's quickly do it for this one as well. OK, so in both of these cases, we would get an underestimate. And these are known as concave down. OK, so if you need um, to show or determine whether you have got an overestimate or an underestimate, a little sketch to zoom in and show it um, will really go a long way in answering this problem. Now, clearly, if the curve um, isn't just concave up or concave down, if it's doing a mix of things, if it looks something like this, then if I was going to use the trapezium rule under this, I can't very easily say whether it would be an overestimate or an underestimate because Essentially, in choosing the points, so I'm going to try and get them reasonably similarly spaced. Okay, in trying to determine it, you can see that at certain points, uh, here we're getting an underestimate, here we're getting an overestimate. So in total, um, it would be difficult to ascertain whether this would be an overestimate or underestimate in the long run. But for specific sections of the curve, um, and it's likely that you'll only get a piece, this curve, if you ask, get asked this question, it'll either be concave up or concave down, then you'll be able to identify which is which.